Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about the MCU and the possible MCU fatigue. And then we're going to talk about how people are are saying that uh, Thor 4 is going to be gay as hell. Right, because, you know, friends yeah. cannot be friends unless they're gay. Yeah, and uh, Twitter's tap dancing right now because they're like, oh my God, they're going to force Chris Pratt to be gay. Star-Lord's going to be bisexual in the movies too. I'm like, no, Disney wants this to make money in China. I don't think so. No, I th we'll talk about it when we get to it. Anyway, before we get into it, any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 263,000 subs, Yay! almost 264. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. We do give our hot takes and opinions on pop culture. We talk a lot about Disney. Uh, we talk a lot about Marvel. And the MCU is kind of meh right now. The problem is it's too much. Yeah. And, and I remember there was an interview with Bob Iger a few years ago, and they were talking about people being burned out on Star Wars. And they went from that to let's keep crapping this stuff out. And the same thing's happening, well, I say more so with Marvel, because every year we get a couple movies and now they're throwing all these shows in. I mean, I know, I know. okay, like May 6th, we have uh, Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. Um, then June 8th is Ms. Marvel. July 8th is the Thor, you know, Love and Thunder. Yeah. And then we have in, in November, I think it's Black Panther. And there'll probably be other shows that, that haven't been announced that are gonna be coming out in among that too. Yeah, I mean, some of the stuff is it, it, kind of piling up because of uh, the pandemic. You know, they, they didn't have all the all the shows released the, the, when they were supposed to, you know, Doctor Strange was supposed to come out last year and all right. that. Right, but, but it's, it's getting to be too much. And yeah. where Moon Knight had a really good premiere, I think it was behind Loki, but ahead of Hawkeye. Um, this article point out, people aren't talking about it the way they talked about like WandaVision. They aren't speculating the way they speculated. They are, it's like, it like dies off quickly. Moon Knight's boring. It is. It's a boring it's show. It's confusing as hell. It is. Uh, this is a very different take on Moon Knight from when I was growing up, apparently in the last couple of years, because I haven't really followed the, the Moon Knight comics in decades. Not since it was popular. Yeah, not since it was popular, but apparently he's got a split personality disorder now, and uh, it makes it confusing. I mean, it's an interesting wrinkle, I guess. It's dissociative identity oh, disorder. Yeah. There's, there's, there's multiple people inside his head, right? Um, I mean, that's an interesting, uh, uh, I guess, premise, but I don't think the execution is great. I think it's very slow. And um, the first glimpse we get of the Moon Knight costume, we get the uh, the dapper version of the Moon Knight costume. Right, that's the... what they're showing that one over at, uh, the, at Disneyland, too. Yeah, by the way. yeah. But it's just, to me, I mean, obviously there's another, there's another one, because they all, they're all they both blacking out now. So they're, And they show it, you know, he has three faces. He has his face, in the, you know, the three faces in the, in, the, in the credits. And then they have, like, a third costume they show. So there's clearly a third one. Well, they, they could be, you know, getting the shippers excited. They could be like, how many men are inside Oscar Isaac right there now? There you go. This is Disney's diversity and inclusion. How many men are all up inside Oscar Isaac? That's right. That doesn't count. That, that doesn't count because it's not somebody else that's up inside Oscar Isaac. Um, no, but here's the thing. It's like the first episode or two were, uh, weren't bad. It was like, this is interesting. And now it's just like, what the hell's going on? I can't even follow it. It's like, so they're trying boring. to cram too much into it and now it's it doesn't even make sense. It's boring. The and show is boring. And I think if we saw the numbers, it's dropping. Like all yeah. the shows, like the premieres do the best and then it drops off as it goes on. But this one um, premiered pretty strong, 1.8 million, which a lot of people were excited about Moon Knight. A lot of people really wanted to see Moon Knight. So it did really well in the premiere. Um, we'll have to look and see what the numbers are since. But from the way it reads, it seems like it's been like falling off a cliff, right? After an episode airs, it gets like buzzed for like a few minutes. Yeah, then, it, it, it doesn't help that you've got some of your, your fellow MCU actors throwing shade at actors on Moon Knight either. Like, oh, yeah, Samu Liu. Samu Liu, yeah, he was, he was dunking on Ethan Hawke for his Not speaking Mandarin, Mandarin properly. Yeah, you know what? Here's the thing about Samuli Yu. You know, dude keeps dunking on Disney, and the, and the honest truth is the fact that he knows they won't fire him because he's Asian. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to be honest. That's his superpower. His superpower is he can keep you know telling Disney to fuck themselves and knows he's not going to get fired because you know damn well he's the type that if he got fired, he'd be screaming racism. He would, he would make uh, Ray Fisher look like a, a very happy employee. I'm just saying, uh, he's the sure. type that, without a doubt, even though it could be because, you know, he may he's not that good or because he keeps shooting his mouth off and, and, and disparaging the company, disparaging other, you know, movies and, you know, all that stuff. 
It would be, he would say it was because of racism. You know damn well he would. Well, I would say at this point, you know, and this is what a lot of people were afraid of with, with the MCU, you know, or the MCU phase four, whatever you want to call it. I think our, our best years are behind us. I think people watched everything Marvel because they were excited about the build up to Endgame. And now that that's over, it feels like there isn't really a plan beyond just making more Marvel. Right. Like, where is it headed? Yeah, because originally it was like, oh, we're all building. All these movies are building to something, you know, well, and now it's like, eh. Doctor Strange might start setting up something else because for because you need another direction. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe um, Doctor Strange is going to give us a new direction with that one. I'm hoping because right now it's just like everybody for themselves. There's no real like, you know, we're going to this. Like you just saw 10 years you're heading to Endgame. Now it's just like. Where are we going? Just more more shit to watch? I mean, I don't understand. Yeah, because even from the very beginnings of the MCU, it was like they planned to get the Avengers together, and they planned if they could do Avengers to do the Infinity Gauntlet storyline. It was very obvious. Now it's like, well, they might be doing Secret War, maybe. It doesn't really feel like well, there's a Well, I think they might be because are they doing a, a show, a Secret War show or something? I, wow. think, I think there is. There's so many shows, I don't even pay attention. It, yeah, I don't even that's pay just it. They're anymore. constantly announcing things. And what's happening is people are just like, like, they're just zombifying the, the viewership. They're just like, I don't care. Well, yeah, it dilutes it. Kind of, and you can see kind of the cheapness. Like, even in Moon Knight, you can see the uh, CGI looks cheap. And they use the costume sparingly, mm -hmm. you know, because it costs money to, to do the costume. And um, you don't see, like, full-on transformation, really, because that, that, again, would cost money. And so it almost feels like every Marvel series has gotten progressively cheaper. Uh, but they're yeah. too, doing too many. Yeah, because like look at WandaVision. Like, yeah, it was kind of cheap, but then you know they had the big finale, or whatever. But they also the way they did it to make sure it could be done on the cheap was oh we're going to make it a sitcom, mm -hmm. you know, and that's how we're going to do it. But then you know just kind of like I think Loki so far has probably been the most expensive looking one. But even mm -hmm. that's kind of like a lot of it takes place in an office, you know. So it's kind of like it just feels like it's being done on the cheap. Yeah. But it's, it's starting to burn people out. So much so that even CBR is, is saying, you know, is this leading to fatigue? You know, yeah. and maybe who knows? I didn't read the whole article. At the end, they probably say, oh, it's not. I would argue that it is. I, I would I would argue, yeah. This is, again, this is coming from CBR this morning. Um, they said the arrival of Disney Plus has enabled Marvel to develop multiple TV shows that have added to the MCU's established lore. With so much Marvel content on the big and small screen, some fans are feeling yes. MCU fatigue with no end in sight. We've seen each of these series sort of decline in viewership. Um, it started definitely with Falcon, the Winter Soldier, and uh, it was okay. I didn't even finish Loki or, or Winter Soldier. I just got bored. I, I did I finish bored. Winter Soldier. I did not finish Loki because I just didn't care. Three episodes in the Loki and I'm like, yeah, I'm bored. You know, I used to be like, I would see every Star Wars thing that came out, every Marvel thing that came out. And I was actually, you can ask Neon, I was the one who wanted to go. A lot of times I was the one that was a super excited one to go see the movies and yeah. whatever, more than you, more so than you. And now I'm just like, eh. Yeah. Eh. And it's not just because we're busy. It's just, I don't really, I find myself not caring. Yeah, pretty much. And, you know, the Eternals, again, that was another case of, you know, people were like, well, didn't people, watch it. People didn't go because they had a gay kiss. No, people didn't go because the movie looked boring as fuck. You know, Disney was redirecting the, the budget from like marketing, you know, Shang-Chi to, to Eternals really early on trying to build this damn movie up. And it still didn't work. Had yeah. nothing to do with the gay kiss. No one cared. Nobody cared about that. That that wasn't the issue. They, they keep looking for homophobia quick yeah. use of a use a minority as a shield they hate women they hate you know oh my god captain marvel tank because all the misogynists who actually went to go see wonder woman and a lot of them like wonder woman they went to go see alita and they liked it. had nothing to do with it you know they're they're doing damage control there's too much too much marvel there's too much marvel and too much bad marvel and they're gonna find themselves in the same situation that the comic books did yeah. where they're shitting out a bunch of uh, subpar shit while also trying to shoehorn in uh political statements and all this other crap well, i'd argue too out. that that originally the mcu had a lot of people who watched it because they're comic book fans and they're all tuned out because the comic books are just shit anyway anymore. Yeah. so you you're 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 just you know alienating everyone any Marvel storyline after 2014, 2015, I'm vaguely aware of uh, because I don't give a shit. I don't. I can tell you right now, we changed the character for no reason. It's, you know, girl power, LGBTQ power, something else power. Um, and, and, and not that that's a bad thing, except that the characters are, you know, stereotypes or parodies 
based on the fact they're trying to push an agenda. So they made them like a, a laughing stock instead of you know taking these characters and making them good characters. For not all, but for the most part. They said, and this again, this is CBR. While Moon Knight is off to a great start, the buzz surrounding the show doesn't seem as significant as it was for WandaVision. Could viewers finally be getting tired of the MCU? Yeah, I think they are. Uh, fans have been wondering how long the MCU will be able to sustain itself. While there are literally thousands of comics to pull from, audiences' attention spans can be short and their love fickle. In addition, Marvel adopted an aggressive release strategy with multiple films a year to watch and now multiple TV shows premiering as well. For even the most diehard fans, this is a huge time commitment and a lot of storylines mm -hmm. to keep straight. I know we had um, uh, one person we knew on Facebook was like, I'm, I'm just going to get into the MCU. Where do I start? And they're like, well, there's like 20 or 30 movies you have to watch first. And then all these TV shows. And it's like, yeah, pass. Mm -hmm. I'm out. I mean, it's the same with any long running TV series, too. It's like, oh, yeah, maybe I'll check out this show. Oh, there's 14 seasons. Well, I was thinking comics, even. People, I know web comics, people would be like, oh, I want to start reading this comic. But after there was like, you know, 150 chapters, they're like, oh, maybe I won't. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I won't. Um, they said in the post-Infinity War era, the MCU is trying to start over. The franchise has been introducing more characters like Sam Wilson's Captain America in hopes of reassembling a new team of heroes to follow after the, the original Avengers. Uh, the difficulty is that for over a decade, viewers invested in those original characters. Oh my God, is this CBR or, or like an alt-right rag? Oh my God. Those are the stories that fans grew with and fell in love with. While the TV shows are a massive component of this reset by showcasing these characters and giving more context to their adventures, they also take up more viewing time. Um, yeah, they're basically like the MCU is, is going to keep making money for Disney, but like people were invested in all the characters that they sidelined or killed off. Mm -hmm. And they changed. Yeah. And they, changed. yeah it's, it's, it's ridiculous. People are just, they just, a lot of people, a lot of people said after the end game, they were done. Yeah. And I think we're going to see this trend continue, especially if the movies and the TV shows are, are lackluster. Now, uh, I do think Doctor Strange is going to do good because, again, we're talking, you know, a, a pre, I guess if the character was introduced pre Endgame. Uh, they have a better chance of, of bringing well, people back. Well, they have Scarlet Witch and, you know, Doctor Strange. Yeah, and both of those, I think, you know, and again, WandaVision was popular. This takes place after WandaVision. So I think Doctor Strange is going to do really well. Black Panther without Black Panther, I don't know. Yeah, we haven't seen anything yet. I you think know, it's going to depend I, I on what, no what, how it looks to people. Um, now we also have now the Thor Love and Thunder. Now, here's the problem with Thor, because people didn't like Ragnarok um, a lot. A lot of people liked it. A lot of people didn't like it. Um, and, it's, and it's the same guy that did Ragnarok. They might be tuned out from it because they're like, oh, I hated Ragnarok, so there's no way in hell I'm going to like this. Yeah, Ragnarok was was pretty polarizing. I mean, it, it was like the complaint was that Thor 2 was boring as hell, which I agree. Thor 2 yeah, was Thor 2 sucked. boring. But I think Taika Waititi went too far the other way and turned Thor into a joke. And then in this movie, he's going to be sidelined for Jane Foster. And now they're they're getting the ship bait already. They're kind of trying to get him and Star-Lord. It wasn't that what it was. I saw I the trailer. I yeah. covered it first. Like, I was one of the first ones to get it up to cover it. And that's not what happened. He was talking about, okay, he's talking about in the trailer about, you know, looking at the people you love. And he's looking at his his, his crew, right? Yeah. Because those are his friends. And then Thor's trying to make eye contact with him. Like, look, don't you like me too? I'm your, I'm your friend too. It wasn't like, you, know, you love me because I'm in love with you. That wasn't what it was like, dude. It's it's Twitter. It's people who are going to read into it. But yeah, they, they're they're going to probably go there just to troll people because, you know, there's been a lot of talk about, you know, Chris Pratt being homophobic because he goes to church and and um, well, a lot of people go to church and doesn't make them homophobic. Yeah, right, right. But, uh, you know, thanks, uh, Elliot Page for for, you know, putting the, the target on him. They do know, too, that like. There are a bunch of religions out there that, you know, are even sometimes more militant about being anti certain things. No, than, they're not. Know. They're not. Because, you know. I know there's churches that have pastors that are LGBTQ. There there, there are. Yeah. So anyway, and Chris Pratt's a pretty private guy. I mean, he, he does uh, profess his faith, but he doesn't beat people over the head with it. And he I'm like, say it off of Twitter. Cause he's smart enough to do that. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. They go out to Instagram and they, they drag him on Twitter. You know, anyway, um, they trolled 
the Star Lord character in the comics. They made Star Lord bisexual in the comics, which ne no indication that ever ever. Well, of course they I'm did because yeah. it's a you should say. To the comics, that's their go-to. Comics don't matter. We're just going to turn around and make every character somebody else or make them LGBTQ or some minority group uh, because we have to. So, I mean, that's like, you know, oh, shocker. Anyway, uh, we've got uh, King Valkyrie and, and Jane Foster, which was, the uh, storyline did not go over very well, by the way, but uh, they're like, oh my God, everybody's, every eagle-eyed tweeter took the tease of the God of Thunder's sexuality to be that he's into he's No, into they didn't. He, in the same trailer, he's on a pirate ship kissing a woman. <laughs> I know. Oh, he swings both ways. The hammer swings both ways. Random Twitter people. Thor Love and Thunder is a gaze only event. Oh, good. Okay, good. You heard it there, guys. Um, you only can go to see this movie if you're, if you're, you know, the LGBTQ plus community. It's for you only. So when no one goes to the movie, I don't want to hear it. Uh, Thor is gay, we won. Thor is gay, we won. The words in there are titled literally the colors of the gay flag. Gay Thor is so real. Um, anyone saying Thor isn't gay is in homophobic denial. Taika Waititi gets a hold of the pen. Suddenly Thor is gay now. Incredible. Incredible. I don't think so. All they're going to do is make people not go see the movie. Yeah. I mean, look, Disney's already fighting an uphill battle trying to to stay in the good graces of, of a lot of people because of their political hot takes. And they're like, oh, yeah, by the way, uh, man candy Thor, a lot of women went to go see the Avengers movies for Thor and we're going to we're going to make them gay. Uh, people are going to be like, what the fudge? Well, I'm looking here. Look into the yeah, as I said, look into the eyes of people you love. And he, so he looks into his eyes. OK, yeah. You know what? I have, I have friends that are women. I have I have relatives that are women. I love them. Guess what? I'm not a lesbian. <laughs> well, he comes from a place called Asgard. So, you know, no, there's that. There's that. Uh, no, I mean, he had a, a relationship with Jane Foster. She's probably, you know, what's probably going to happen? They're probably going to, you know, Thor's going to go off by himself because Star Lord's, you know, pining for Gamora. So Thor's going to go off by himself. And then they're going to, they're going to have Jane Foster and, and King Valkyrie hook up. And then she didn't need no man. I just think it's stupid that they're you know. calling, they're calling Valkyrie King Valkyrie. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, this whole thing is like, I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, if you're trying to maintain interest, if you're trying to maintain an erection for the MCU, uh, you know, ruining the, the classic characters, probably not a good move. No, I mean, and, we'll, and we'll even if it. this is not the case, which it probably isn't it going to be It probably is out of context. But, um, yeah. They just, just turned a bunch of people off. Congratulations, media and Twitter. And one person said it's, 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 for, it's for gays only, so you just severely limited your audience. <sighs> and I don't want to hear one damn thing when no one goes to see it and you're like, oh, it's because you're istophobes. You, you. Yeah, I know. I know. That's, yeah, that's what's going to happen. You know, people are going to be like, wait a minute. What, and that might not even be the case. It might be the case. It might not even be the case. People are going to go see it because you're already like, they're, okay, I'm fucking out. <laughs> you're, you're trying not to make a joke there about, you know, anyway. I, I think, I think that, uh, you know the MCU is is unlimited time here. I think I think the only way they could really save it if it goes completely into the gutter is to just reset the whole damn timeline. But Disney never knows when to quit. And same with Star Wars. Like Star Wars is an event in small doses, but Disney's like, oh no, we got to crank out like ten subpar TV shows a year. And at that point, it winds up being like freaking Star Trek. Actually, Star Trek in the '90s was better than the Star Wars that we're seeing on Disney mm -hmm. Plus right now. So uh, it's it's become a TV thing, and same with the MCU. It's a TV thing, and and stuff, you know, movies go to to uh, uh, voodoo almost immediately now. Like, I just took our daughter to go see the Batman a couple weeks ago, and it's already on HBO Max. Yeah. You know, so. I was just thinking, like, I was just sitting here thinking, do I even want to go see Thor and Lund Thunder? And I was just debating, and I'm like, I honestly don't even care if I see it. I mean, and I like Guardians of the Galaxy, so I, I'm like, I'd like to see Guardians of the Galaxy, but I don't, and it has nothing to do with that the way Twitter's behaving. I was kind of like, I've been about it for a while now. I mean, I do want to see Doctor Strange, but I have no desire to see Thor. Yep. And I used to like Thor. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Thor was fun. They made him annoying in Endgame, so I didn't. After that, I was kind of like, eh. Well, that's it. Thor, eh. Thor can still headline a movie as long as he's, um, you know, he eats a salad. Well, yeah, he, they made they make a big montage where he loses weight. Yeah. So they know. Okay, so how about? Well, I thought you were inclusive, Disney yeah, and Marvel. Body, body you had Thor. to make him thin and fit again to make him Thor. You couldn't just leave him as fat Thor, because so, because that wouldn't make sense as a superhero. So so much for your inclusivity. 
Anyway, are we going to are we going to wrap this yeah, one up? Yeah, you can't beat this thing anymore. That's already been beaten. <laughs> Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume. Don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open and brewed through the eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. No, run, 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 run. Oh, oh you got splatted. No. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh she was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey, guys, Squid King here, and today we're in a... <laughs> Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding, he's hiding from you. He better. Oh my God, you got the ax. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Ooh, I'm sorry. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. Can't run him carrying trash. And you can get away with one F bomb per PG 13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're going to wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>